when you're doing something and it makes entirely sense what you're doing and then weeks later or whatever you realise actually it didn't make sense. Today I'm filming on my iPad. Hi guys, it's Aish. I have no idea where I was supposed to look. I'm filming on my iPad because I've lost the little duvalaki to, um, for my um, tripod. So let's hope this all works. And I'm looking now. You're going to have that little white blue bar at the bottom and how am I going to fix that? There's absolutely no way I can fix that so maybe I'll just put stuff down there. I don't know. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you returning, thank you so much for joining me again. I am The Sticky Stitch on Instagram and Ravelry and if you feel free to come and join us on our, in our Ravelry group. It's been a while. I know I keep on promising, oh I'll just film next week. But can I tell you, it's been so hot that I have had no interest in filming at all because I've just been sweating like a PIG. I actually have just finished, you know, this town. So I'm not as um, glowing and don't freak you guys out. Okay, so what's been going on? Not much. I did go on the cruise. That cruise was for five days and it just went to Tassie and back. So we were only there for like a day or so. Um, I'll talk about the cruise at the end. That way if nobody cares about it, you don't have to watch it. Um, so let's just get on with what you're here for basically and what I've been up to knitting and crochet wise as per usual well i did it last time and i'm going to do it again this time i'm not putting finishes and whips in any order because it's more fun that way so let's just see what we got and this is the first one i've um got in my hands this is my agnes cardigan um the the boom, 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 boom. the pattern is vodka lemonade by baby cakes I should learn that shouldn't I and the yarn is Bendigo Woolen Mills in the eight ply cut um, and the colorway so the yarn type is called Stella and the colorway is cast iron which is sometimes it looks black and sometimes it looks really deep navy blue you've heard me say that so as you know I've already split for the arms and I managed to put some decent progress before the weather still heated up really well I have no idea if I showed you this last time or I've knit this much and knitting even that much is a huge deal when you're a fluffy girl so I've done all of that and I'm looking forward to actually starting doing the waist shaping and also the um, the bottom detail on the um, cardigan so I can show you guys and I'm just holding that in my creative garage palm fronds bag I love it I got it at Bendigo woolen show last year and yeah so off that one goes this one is my unicorn graph gam so I had two things that I wanted to do this year and that one is learn how to make a graph gam I had seen in a video somebody explaining it and it sounded so difficult that I just got forget it and then this video this um Graph game came up in you know things you should watch next and I started watching I'm going I could do that so during the hot weather on the weekend we had you know 38 degree weather I have no idea what that's in Fahrenheit it's definitely over 100 degrees I'm sure so I've added a bit more to this blanket I went to my parents house for some um, air conditioning joy and so the last time I think I was about to about here so I've added I've finished the yellow which effectively ends the graph gan week one so this is by heart sprinkles on YouTube so if you look and look for her unicorn graph gang you'll see it and so yeah so it's coming along really cool I am loving it I'm not sure what I've done there but I'll just fix it up with some I don't know with something I'm sure but 
breakfast on bracket. I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm just using acrylic yarn and I am holding it double. I have started um, weaving in the ends at the back, but this is the current joy that exists that I need to um, do at the back. But things aren't going to end, and there's no rush at all. And I'm just using some acrylic from Spotlight, which is a big box store here in Australia, um, in their stallion yarn, four season stallion yarn, and the various colours. But if you look on my project page, all the colours will be there. If if you're wondering about, you know, what the pattern is, what my needle sizes I'm using or have used are, they're always on my project page. And if anything's missing, just give me um, a hoy and I will I will answer your question for you. Okay. okay. Next is a very new thing. I haven't even put it into a bag yet. And I've got a bag here, I just realised, so I can just put it in there. This is my Lempy shawl, and a few months ago, I put on Instagram what colours I should use, and I, I had three options. I think this colourway won out, but this is the shawl here. Again, um, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to switch the video and I'm uploading but I guess you'll know that so it's Lempy by Susanna Winter it uses DK and it uses a I think it was a five needle let me have a look because I five and a half millimeter needle which has been fun to use a bigger needle and like I said this is very this is just a weekend thing that I started because apparently on um, really hot days all you want to do is knit wool in a heavy yarn but this is what I've got so far so the color ways I had basically asked is what color I should do that I think that when I looked at it the blue had one so I had put the blue in the bag so that's how it is so far so I'm slowly working on that so the blue is Baltic by Madeline Tosh in their DK and the brown and the white or the cream are white gum wool in she oak and she oak and and of course I've chosen she oak I know we've got labels what's going on there um she oak and natural <laughs> but that's a label I never show labels but there you go, because it's got the cute little shimmies on there. And the needles, do you care? Do you care which brand needles? So everybody has their own preference, but these are chow goo. So I'll put them in that bag. Next, let's do a finish. Okay, so these socks, I, I think I started last year and I just finished them. The pattern is shock. Shotgun Shuts His Cake Hole by Lisa Tomko and these are the finished socks they look really thin so I was there when I last spoke to you so since then I've put added a bit more here and put some heel in and then finish the pattern the yarn is Journey by We Love Knitting and this is just one of her mini skeins that are unnamed the pattern is a toe up, but she also has the cuff down version as well. I did something different. Instead of doing twisted rib, which I've got no issue with, I actually like doing twisted rib. I chose not to because twisted rib is slightly tighter and I wanted to maintain the number of stitches I normally do. I think I actually added some stitches. Because I usually do a 56 and I think these are a 60, if I remember right. So um, I just didn't do this twisted, twisted rib. And it's got this really cool detail, just one over one cable. I really like them. I think I might make another pair. Oh, and I, she does a short row heel and I did the flegal heel because I do like my flegal heel. Yeah, so that's one finish. And all the, all the, like, the ends are woven in. I know, can you believe it? I better not put it there because I don't know 
where the camera is, so what's doing that? Um, okay. No, I'm not going to show that. Natalie, you can wait. Um, another pair of socks I finished. I put these on last year. I passed these on last year. I, for some reason, kept on avoiding doing them. And so, but I finally finished them. They're a bit wonky, but, and I haven't finished all of them, but these are the yin, yin and yang kitty socks. So I've put the nose in, but I haven't put the eyes and the whiskers. And I don't know if I will. So I did a short row heel for this one. The yarn is, I think this is, um, I think it's called Lana Gatto or Lana Gross, I can't remember, or Lang Yarns, purple. And this is Safari by Skein Yarn in a, I can't remember the yarn, yarn thingy, but it's four ply. So, but I liked how the colour looked and I think it, I thought it looked a bit catty. Meow. So last time I showed it to you, I was here and I've since finished them. So yay, ends have been woven into showing I can't be bothered showing that one because um, I haven't done much on it. So, oh, I can choose these ones. So, um, what's happening is an Aussie sock dyer knit along. So, basically, you use Aussie indie sock yarn. And I will be starting a thread for that because I do want to have the knit along for um, to encourage people to use local. And don't worry, for you guys that are overseas that can't get your hands on it, I'm also just starting a general sock along. So basically, you can enter your socks in both. So lucky you. So this one is just in my Knit Picks Jane Austen bag. These are my Ray of Sunshine socks. And I did something different with the heel with these ones, and I'm not sure if I'm happy with it. So these are a size... I think they're a size 2 needle, which is not an issue because I usually knit with 1.75, but that's not the issue. The issue is that I decided to do a garter heel. I don't think I like it. So I'm going to rip back and so the, I have oh, so that's where I was last time. And all I'm doing is every once in a while I'm just doing a square of square-ish of garter just up the side and they're mirrored. But I don't think I like, I don't think I'm going to like the feel of the um, pearl bumps on my feet. Well, the garter bumps on my feet, so on my heels. So I hopefully will rip this out and have both heels done by the next time I speak to you guys. I don't know what it is about a heel. It always ugh, just takes me ages to um, get motivated to do them. And then I think, why does it, why do I stress so much? Because... It hardly takes any time at all. And the yarns that I'm using are, this is by Squiggle, Squiggle Yarn Co. And I can't remember the colorway for this one. Oh, I think it was Ray of Sunshine. And this is, I think it's called Loggerhead Turtle by Saltwater Yarns. So yeah, so they're the two colors I'm using. I just wanted something florally. So I've got those. I do have other projects on the needles, but I'm just, I think I'm just showing you all my socks. So in my Fat Squirrel Red Riding Hood bag, I love Red Riding Hood, story of. These, is, these are my trying, trying My Patience socks. The yarn is called Trying My Patience from um, Crazy Dog Yarns, and these are like opposites, the track type socks. And I have done short row heels, and for the, for the heels I pulled from the opposite colorway just from the inside to do the short row heels I've actually turned the heels on these ones and I'm just doing a simple 4x4 rib up just for the fun of it where was I last time look where I was last time so I've done a bit of work on that one and they, these are um, knitting on 1.75 I just find that with her yarn it's just slightly thinner and I prefer the 1.75s for her one but I'm loving that I'll just I love how it's like not matching. For those of you who have some sort of issues with that, maybe I should have told you to just shut your eyes, shut your eyes. But yeah, I'm enjoying doing those socks and I'm looking forward to 
with, as with all my socks, just finishing them and wearing them. Not that I'm wearing them anytime soon, but you know, autumn's coming. Autumn's coming. And another pair of socks I have. This is in my knit sew pop bag. And these were the socks. I thought about knitting these rather than podcasting today. But. Oh, my arm was twisted. I think. Now, this is from Lovebird Lane. Um, I'm not sure the colourway name. It could be Winterfell. I could be 100% wrong. But let's just call it Winterfell. And this again is from the Saltwater Yarns. And this is called Sea Urchin. This colourway um, is a colourway that was given to me um, for some help I did for the wool gathering retreat last year. Which was nice. And the help was modelling. Modelling. Um, yeah, so that was really nice. So these are the socks here. I've actually called them my Tasman socks because I was going to act. The, the pattern's called, um, it's a free pattern. It's called Socks. Sock of Kindness or Socks of Kindness and um, so it's just it's not cables it is yarn overs and slip stitches not slip stitches um, yarn overs and knit two togethers and slip two togethers um, it says K's but and that's how the yarn is working up but yeah I called them Tasman because I intended to take them on the um, boat with me when I went on my I feel weird calling it a cruise when you're just going down to Tassie but on my boat cruise but I actually didn't I can't remember I had a list of all these projects that I was going to take and then I'm going to show you I'll show you that as my last one as what I actually took and lastly oh second lastly is another finish I know shocking these I started in 2017. I have finished a squillion socks. I think that's a technical term since I cast these on. But I finally finished these. And these are, um, the pattern is the Weasley Family Patchworky something something. It's on the pa pattern page, on the project page. So it's just got all these different things. Don't ask me why I couldn't finish them. That must have been where I showed to you the last time I did them. I didn't do the pattern on the back. I've got a feeling I don't like pattern socks. Anyway, so I did short row heel and then I just took some colours up there because I decided to do two stripes down there. So I did two stripes up here and they're done too. Woohoo! Ends woven in. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I've got a couple of pairs of socks that I finished last year that I still haven't woven in the ends. And yes, I do have to wave in the ends because um, they just need to be done. Okay, this is, okay, so the cruise was a cruise and I went with my sister. At the same time, um, my local um, LYS had a crochet cruise. I didn't actually go on the crochet part of the cruise, but... That was my intention that I was just gonna just have fun and rest so I paid for their goodie bag and this came in their goodie bag so you got the bag you got this you got a crap ton of other stuff and you got this pattern and the pattern is the linden shawl I have no idea the woman's name but um, and you got the needle you got all the yarns but I added some yarns to it so this is the linden B shawl, B double E. Nat, I'm showing it, pay attention. So this is the shawl here. So some of the, um, this is hobby yarn in their soft alpaca. Which I, let me see if I've got a label for you. I do, soft alpaca. There, by hobby. So I used just over one ball um, and then I just started using it for the tassels. The colours, some of these don't have names. Um, some of them I already had in my um, stash and some were given to make this shawl. Now the pattern calls for, I think it was four or five 
mini skeins, but it uses seven or six, six, six. So it's just, it's weird. So I changed up the colors and chose colors that I wanted to do. So some of these came in the pack and some of them didn't, but most of them are salt water yarns. So that's salt water yarn, salt water yarn, a darker version of the other one, salt water yarn, salt water yarn. They don't have names. This is Ren and Ollie, and the colorway is Smitten Kitten. And I really like that because it's got this, like a botanical feel to it. Like, I don't know, why, why am I speaking so slow today? It's got a botanical feel, like it just feels, it looks floral, and I quite like that. This is saltwater yarn too, and this colour is Must, something like that by Miss Click Clack in her Mary Creek sock. And then you just repeat the other side. So you start from one end, increase to the middle, finish at the other end, then you add the border, and then you add the tassels. And here are my tassels. Here are the tassels. And the tassels were fun to make. I've made tassels in ages, but they're so easy and fun. And all I did was use some of that well, the white, obviously, and some of the smitten kitten, because I've just felt like it sort of encapsulated most of the colours. And, um, yeah, so it hasn't been um, blocked, but I'll, let's see. The sacrifices I do for you guys in this hot weather. So it just goes like that. So I'm sure it'll just drape a bit longer, and I just love it love it love it now people always like a lot of people said when i was making this that doesn't look like your colorway um you know would you wear that and it's like my bedroom is this my bedroom is shabby chic i think people expect me to have like oranges and you know limes and all this sort of stuff but that's that's the person i wanted to be not that i'm ever going to be that person and again we're so ends woven in but I think this is a good one for if you've got, um, like, obviously you can use, you could use scrappy yarn for all of it and just, just have a nice long thing, three and a half millimeter crochet hook. It's so quick, so quick to do. It's a, basically a two row repeat and then you decrease, but really enjoyed it I'm thinking I'm debating whether I'm going to do another one not that I ever repeat anything I make I always say I'm gonna make it but if I was gonna re if I was to remake it I have no issues because I think the pattern was really good sorry I'm hiccuping okay and lastly um, is basically what I took on the trip with me it's not all of it but I ended up just taking a crap ton of scraps, scrap yarn, and I made a crap ton of squares and circles. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to go through all of them for you, because I don't want to freak you out. And it's still in the plastic, because in my head we're on a boat, and we're going to get wet, like, <laughs> not on a cruise ship. So I thought, best take it in plastic. But that's, they're all the squares and circles. So basically... What I've been doing, I make a square, right, and if I have leftover yarn that I think will make a circle, I make a circle. So theoretically, as I'm doing the squares, I'm actually also building um, another blanket. Or if I don't have enough, I'm just doing like these baby squares, like whatever. It doesn't matter how many, how many it does. And then eventually they will all be put together. So the black, this is film noir. I was gonna show you some of the colorways that people have, just so that if you're shopping, you can see it. That's film noir. This is gumball by Passion Flower. Film noir is um, hedgehog fibers. Um, what's another interesting colorway that I remember the name of? No, nope, don't remember the name. Oh, that one doesn't die anymore. What's this one? This one. I took it out, didn't I? But I don't know who did it. 
Anyway, so so lots of circles. You know, small squares with the leftover. And with the smaller ones, I'm gonna go around for them in black, then a white stripe, and then a black stripe, and then a white stripe. Can't remember how it goes. But there are those. So then I started joining them together as well. And so far, I haven't even counted two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it's thirteen across for the moment. I haven't decided how long it would be. And so yeah, so this is my own hand dyed. This is Hedgehog in um, Sour Cherry. This is Pixelated by Skein. This is Lammy Toes, no name. This might be Skinny Dip by Hedgehog. This is Blackberry by Lena Tim X Makina, Film Noir. This is my own hand dyed. This could be Egg Yolk by Hedgehog. This is my own hand dyed. Gumball. It's not Shamrock, it's something Hedgehog, I think. No. This might be. I don't know if it's Miss Click Clack or Hedgehog, I can't remember. This might be Angel Studio Yarn, I can't remember. This is Lovebird Lane, don't know. That's Angel Studio Yarns, I can't remember. Hmm, could be nitpicks. This is Valhalla by Viking Yarns. Summer Peaches by Lovebird Lane. I think this is Neon something, Neon Beach maybe? By Regia. I think that's a Regia. That's unknown. It's got even a swap. This is Hedgehog. Don't hold me to it. It could be Heyday. This is Shamrock by Hedgehog. This is Sour Apple by Nick Picks. And I have no idea what that one is, but God, it's nice. Could it be Shell by Ren and Ollie? I have no idea, and I'm asking you like you're going to answer. So basically, I have done uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six square, six row um, granny square, and then I did the jo join as you go method. And who knew that joining as a girl was so easy? Just went on a YouTube tutorial, did it, I'm going, why would you want to do it any other way? But, so that's cool. So, um, probably for the, I'm not, I don't think March, I was going to do modular March, but I might do modular April. I know it doesn't work, and I'll have to find a word that is like modular, but starts with A, so, because we all love alliteration, but I really enjoyed it. And seriously, it's so quick to do when it's crochet. But I really want to add to my mitre square blanket as well. So most of these yarns I've already added to my mitre square blanket. And that's why they're appearing here. So the order goes mitre square blanket. Um, theoretically. Mitre square blanket. Beekeeper's quilt. So the hexi puffs. Then... This, then the circle, and then the leftovers will go on my bubble, bubble puff blanket, and so on and so forth. So, as with the sock, um, sock along, so I want to have a sock along. I want to have all these socks, um, alongs, and they can be crochet or whatever. But I'm going to have a blanket along too because I think it would be great if. Um, we can all um, encourage each other to finish these darn things or get some work done on them. And what I want you to do, so with, 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 with the socks, it'll be one whip photo per project per week. And then obviously on the, your finishing week, you can put two photos and one of the whip and one um, of your finished project. But make sure that you mark the progress um, 
with the Aussie dyer, please put the label of the yarns in the photo or a link. Make sure you have a project page. Whips are allowed. If I didn't allow for whips, I'd be a hypocrite because I love, oh, I have a thousand whips. Slight exaggeration, but close enough. Um, yeah, so um, I think that would be cool. I don't have anything else to show you today. I probably do, but this was a last minute decision. And my hair is all sweaty and stringy and bleh, bleh, bleh. so that's it. Um, as for the cruise, the cruise was really cool. Um, you know, we watched all these videos about rooms and um, what rooms sh you should book or avoid, what you should take on a cruise with you, etc., etc. So there might be a video going up that just shows the room, and that's for people who are interested in booking on the cruise line that we booked on and if they're interested they can just have a look at what the room looks like anyway so don't worry about it it's not going to be knitting related and it'll be five minutes don't expect you to watch it um but yeah so it was all this stuff about oh what you should do whatever anyway so we had an early check-in fantastic because we both took the day off so that was really good so we checked in around noon and that meant we had plenty of time to just settle and look around the ship before muster. Muster is basically what happens on an airplane, but they call it muster, and you have to attend. Otherwise, the captain will ask you to basically for you to beg for forgiveness for not attending. It's required by law, no issues, but it was 40 degree heat that day, and we were in the sun, and we're waiting for people to catch, to join, and we were just burning. But we survived, the world didn't end. So the check-in was really smooth, no issues. Um, and so the first bit of advice that was true for Carnival was that they have um, huge discounts for massages and different services they have here and whatever. That was true. We didn't partake in any of them, but we did check them out just to like see if it's true or not. Um, otherwise, don't need to bring, you know, over the door thing for our toiletries. I don't know if all the bathrooms were like ours, but we didn't bring one and we neither did we need one. We had plenty of room. We had a balcony. We didn't use it, but we will always book a balcony because by law, they can basically lock you in your room if you've got some sort of communicable, communicable disease, if you get something on the ship. So who wants to... That way you can actually go out into the balcony. So... I would recommend a balcony if you could, if your budget affords it, even if you don't use it, just for just in case. Um, but that's all we needed. Oh, and the other tip was that they have huge discounts on souvenirs on the last day. And they did. I bought a magnet. But I do have another souvenir. We, um, yeah, so the cruise was good. I saw the ladies a couple of times. Um, I bought a couple of balls, skeins of yarn. So I bought one yarn, which was an alpaca, and if I remember, I'll show it to you next time. And that was, I think, direct from the farm. And the other skein of yarn was for the crochet cruise. They had a little market, so and they let me know about it. So I went and I bought a skein of yarn from Fiber Lily, which was good because I've always wanted to use try Fiber Lily yarn, and I like how she dies. So, um, so I got one of those wishy ones. Did a, like I said, I did a lot of crochet, basically. It was, e it was just easy. I didn't have to look at pattern or anything like that, and that suited me fine. Um, the shows were good. They were professional. The comedians were funny. Um, and what I found interesting that I didn't know is that all the shows, so all the, there were two comedians on board, and they, most of the time they had two shows per night, but each show was different. So you could potentially go to every show every night and not hear the same joke, which was great. I mean, and and what I liked also is a lot of their little events, they wouldn't last long. So they, like the comedy shows weren't long, their um, theatrical shows weren't long. Um, we did some of the um, trivia quizzes and oh my God, I decided to go to the Harry Potter one. First of all, I don't know anything about Harry Potter apparently. 
But it got so heated because all these young kids who know every little thing about it were just going, no, that's not the answer. No, that's not the answer. And needless to say, I did not win Harry Potter. But I did win two ships on a stick for other trivia. I think one was for movies and their themes. And I reckon the other one was commercial, ad related. And I also won a bottle of champagne. So very covered to this ship on a stick. And um, so I won two of these and my sister's going, because I was saying I was going to do the 80s music one. And she's going, because she wasn't going to go to it. And she's going, if you don't win a trophy for me from that one, like I don't know you, because I love 80s music. And... Um, I decided not to enter, but it turns out if I did enter, I would not have won, and I'm okay to say that. I can't remember if I got 29, 28 points or 29 points out of 30. I know I lost one point for the singer of St. Elmo's Fire. In my head it was Kenny Loggins, but it wasn't. And I swear it sounded like Kenny Loggins, but I can't remember it is. Anyway, I think it's John somebody. Anyway, and I'm not sure if I got one other answer wrong. But anyway, so that was that. So the um, food was fine. Um, they also, they, so you have buffets or you can do um, sit down restaurant meal. And so they had two restaurants. One is you don't pay. And the other one is you do pay. So we went obviously to the one that you don't pay because the other one was a bit frou-frou and not interested in dressing up, nor am I interested in anything else. So we went to that one and you can pay for certain meals. Like you, um, So part some of the meals are in your um, in the price that you paid and the, but you can pay extra for lobster and blah, 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 blah. So I didn't do any of that, but loved it. It was really nice. Um, relaxing it was extremely warm the first two days we were on the seventh floor and that was fantastic because it was we were so the Lido deck was the ninth floor so we didn't get all the noise because the eighth floor basically was our buffer so I recommend the seventh floor um, we don't have motion sickness we took tablets just in case but we, we both know that we don't and we didn't and it was actually nice at night when the boat was rocking it was like being cradled and being basically rocked to sleep so that was cool um used up all our ship credits so if you have um if you've never never been like when i've seen it before they always talk about oh you get 300 cruise credits but apparently 300 cruise credits equivalent uh, e um, equals 300 dollars. so basically you can use up 300 dollars of their money before you use up your money so um that was once we realized that it's like yeah i'm just spend money here there everywhere and you know because you've just got a swipey card and that was fun and it was it was a family ship so that was cute and um it was lovely to see the little kids and we actually checked out the games room just for the sake of it because we wanted to just check all the um places out i think the only place we really didn't go to was the adults only area it was at the back of the ship and the back of the ship smelled a bit pooey so <laughs> Oh, we did it because <laughs> when we were walking around we we're just going no it smells like poos not interested don't care so we didn't go there um what else shops were fun on the ship it was nice to go down to adelaide um not adelaide to tassie and because it was a saturday we got to salamanca market for those those of you in victoria salamanca market is a fun market but it's no different to every other market that we go to but I was looking for one cheese producer that I'd seen seven years ago. And obviously I didn't find that cheese producer because um, I don't know their name. I had to find like their type and like the market's much more huger, huger. I did go to a wool yarn shop there. But it was too hot. I had no care factor about choosing anything because we have no O's, basically little or no ozone, say down here in Victoria. So we burn and then... Tasmania is worse and as much as Tasmania is worse New Zealand's even worse is there such a no there's not more worse yeah um so for about an hour I bought a hat a sun hat purely because I was burning and I didn't bring my cap and I don't think the cap would have done it anyway I needed a sun hat anyway walked around I did buy um 
a knitting kit and I'll show that to you next time because I'm almost finished that as well but I'm not sure exactly where I put it um, what else about the cruise I don't know what else to tell you about the cruise it is nice and relaxing I would recommend that if your budget allows it um, to if you've got some friends you can get together and just have your own like crafty retreat but on the boat that way you don't have to worry about making your beds eating your, like cooking food or anything like that and you can find a nice secluded spot and just sit there and enjoy um, each other's company because um, there are, I know that, I know they must do this elsewhere too, but I know for um, like Melbourne and Sydney, they have like taster cruises where they go for three days, two days, you know, you know, that sort of stuff. Like this to us was a taster cruise just to see if we liked it and we did. So we'll probably do another one um, when the budget allows, but I'm trying to start saving up for a big trip to want to go and see the Northern Lights in Iceland. So we'll see. Anyway, it's no big deal. That's quite a few years away yet. That's all guys. That's all I have. Don't forget to put your projects into the Ravelry group. Don't forget to join if you um, like. Please comment down below. Subscribe if you, if you like. It would be really nice. It is free. Um, and then, um, yeah, I usually... I'll have to work out the 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 I suppose the, the prizes or the giveaways that I'll have as part of the um, part of the knit along because so that's what have I caught three I've announced so um, yeah and just check for the rules here and I'll repeat them next time I record I was going to say next week but we know that I'm not going to record next week because it's going to be hot still um, and I won't get much knitting done. Hopefully I can edit this. Like I said, I've never done it on an iPad before. Sorry about that bar at the below. I'll have to find a better way if I can't find my tripod -y thing. Although I can buy a new tripod. I mean, it's like 10 bucks. So anyway. Okay, guys. I miss you all. So say hello. Write a comment whether here or Ravelry or um, Instagram. Take care and... Oh! I forgot. You know how I say ciao? That's because I most of my friends are Italian. The ship captain, he was so cool because he had um, a thick, like, Latino accent. And, um, I don't know, Italian, I don't know if it was Italian or Spanish accent. Can't remember his name, so I can't tell you from that. But so every day he would say his little whatever he needed to tell us. And then he'd go, he'll go, thank you, goodbye. And then he'll go, ciao, ciao. And so I remember one of the guys who work on the boat, one of the crew was saying, you know he speaks perfect English, doesn't, don't you? Like he went to school in Oxford and blah, blah, blah. And I've gone, what does he mean by perfect English? He speaks perfect English. He's just got a heavy accent. But we loved it. Ciao, ciao. Anyway, ciao, ciao, guys.